So, will I sell my Golf R? So yeah, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to 2024. What a gorgeous sunny day, set up some cameras, and yeah, off to go. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of discuss about this because I did a video essentially, wow, that sun is low. Um, the last video you would have seen, just about the UK car price, used car price crash. And as a result, is it like, oh, you know, time to move on. Now my car's on 49,206 miles. So it's at that point where it's like, oh no, it's just before it ticks over the, uh, just before it ticks over the 50,000 mile mark, which to some is obviously quite a lot of miles. I've had this car for about seven years. If you follow the channel, it's what the thumbnail is. Yeah, it's, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm on some absolutely amazing roads. These are some of my favorite roads I've taken a few of my previous cars here. I've obviously taken this car here as well. And it's such a sunny day. I was like, I have to get out, have to kind of just enjoy it. And um, yeah, have give a little update. Also put a face to a name. I know sometimes you'll see videos where, well, it's been pretty dark and miserable in the UK to be honest with you. So I've done stuff on like the facelift, um, Mark 8 Golf R and bits. But yeah, there is a real person and a real voice behind it. I'm not an AI generated voice. That's not gonna happen on the channel. Um, so yeah, just a little bit about this. Now, I love Mark 7 Golf R's. Simple as that. Also like my fast forwards, also like my Porsche stuff. And yeah, I mean, just to say actually, to give you guys a little bit of a teaser, I've got something so exciting. A lot of things actually exciting this year. A lot of exciting cars and, you know, fingers crossed everything all goes ahead. It's actually tomorrow in a uh, Porsche GT4 RS, which I can't believe. Um, yeah, and actually potentially other opportunities with that owner as well. So very much unbiased too. Um, he also has a Focus ST facelift, um, Revo stage two. Um, so there's things to potentially try out there and to share. Um, I've got a few contacts as well to share on the channel. So basically these are reasons to subscribe and like and share and to enjoy 2024 with Sam basically. And you know, it's a community channel. I love people getting involved. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, it's just part of it all. Uh, I just have to show you these roads. It's just, they're just so nice, so sweeping. Um, yeah, we've got a few cars. I've, I've stuck it in race mode. Um, I'll stick the performance monitor on. So, oh man, I love this car, absolutely love it. And I will get to my point about will I sell it. <laughs> don't, don't you worry, as I'm kind of enjoying, enjoying the uh, the drive. Oh, such a good car, such a good car. Oh, yeah, so some exciting things. Poor, I mean, GT4 RS, I can't believe it, just to even be in the presence <laughs> of that car on the channel is beyond me. Um, yeah, potentially some bits with BMW as well, because I have, um, potential contacts there and new M2 and something else which is really quirky and a few other bits and lots of other stuff loads of people reach out and I absolutely love it and if you do want to get in touch with me of you know some cool unique bits you know the stuff I like on my channel I definitely am more you know I want to share like the best the best bits with you and um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to that really looking forward to that um, generally you can just drop me an email or just DM me on Instagram <laughs> now my let's get on to the golf R, shall we my car is a three-door manual it's 296 brake horsepower um six speed it is a april 2017 car so it is pre-opf which means you don't get the opf filters which means it sounds a bit better now that noise that you're actually hearing is actually piped in a little bit through the speakers um but <laughs> It does sound good outside, and in fact, I recently, well, I met up last year with an owner of a Porsche GT4, he had a PDK 718, and I pulled up and he was just like, Sam, that sounds amazing. And my car is completely bone stock, you know, this car will never be modified. Um, the only thing I've done actually is I've fitted Club Sport S front discs and like Brembo pads, so it's got decent stopping power. The car is wonderful and has been wonderful for me and yeah i can only recommend people to get it i've had it seven years and i think you're probably going to know where i'm going with this um there's i will never really see the reason to sell this unless something major comes up you know i've half fleeted at the idea of going for a dsg maybe going for a mark 8 those would kind of be the only things that this would kind of potentially go for but in truth 
they're not making manuals anymore you know emission regulations have changed there's a lot of a lot of new legislation is coming into cars which adds to like dings and bongs and bangs and all sorts which you get mandatory now speed limit detections and limits not that i speed or encourage speeding but i don't want to be bonged every time i enter different speed limit zones and whatnot so there's things that i'm not 100 keen on in terms of an actual ownership proposition but that's just subjective to me i'm you know 34 this year actually so i'm getting a little bit on a bit <laughs> and um yeah they, I, I just like this kind of stuff it's very engaging it's very analog i've got buttons to use to do things it's a great car i can only recommend it i know a lot of people on my channel like them as well because you probably have subscribed and it's a very very good car i have fleeted and had cars on the side like second cars i had a fiesta st200 which was a unbelievable that was revo stage two as well actually i really do miss that car i, I think i i yeah I, I got rid of that way too quickly and i had my focus rs edition last year which was another brilliant car again that was revo stage two actually as well some dream cars and i was happy to own it alongside this that's the key never really could get rid of this it's so good in the uk i can have fun in here as you can see <laughs> and also it's just super practical it's a golf what more do you need in life than a golf i like it big doors so it's nice and light yeah it's, it's just sort of like it's a happy kind of place to be and i can't really ever see myself moving on from it a couple of things i need to think about doing maybe new tires all round. i might go for pilot sport vibes i'm not so sure um but that's about it i love the car I'm not in the position where I particularly need to sell it, um, so I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm not going to lie, really, really happy with the car. And I, the reason kind of why I do these kind of videos as well, and I do throw them in there, is simply, well, that's sunny, to encourage people and put it into like more of a quiet mode as well, so it settles down. Cattle grid coming up. There we go is more to say to people keep stuff for the long term I, lo I loved the cars that i had previously but i'm going to be completely honest with you they were always going to be temporary kind of cars um you know to have a, have some fun in you know I, li I like new experiences this is just a car which just works it just does everything for me and i know it inside and out i know everything that's been done to it i, I just know all the effort and like the you know whether it's a taking to Volkswagen every year for a service or getting the clutch done or you know having the thermostat and water pump done getting all the brakes done you know just and the way I drive it as well I, I don't particularly push it hard that little spirited little bit there is probably as most most as I'll do but it can do it it's a very very good car doesn't mean I won't have other stuff in the future but um yeah to say goodbye to this one yeah I don't think so and that kind of circles round to the whole used car price crash thing a little bit as well. Always be in a position where you are in charge of making decisions. You know, the car is the second most expensive thing in your life if you decide to buy a house, um, or even if you decide to buy a car, I guess. So yeah, won't be selling it. Well, you never say never, you never say never. Like I said, it would be potentially for like a swap. Um, I encourage people to keep their cars for the long term and enjoy them. And this is an exact reason from it. You know, go back seven years, see when I sort of first showed the car in sort of August 2017. And it's still here today in January, in February 2024. And it's brilliant. I just love it. Anyway, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Um, you know, I can't, that's going to be the next video on the channel. I actually cannot believe it. Um, and yeah, it's hope, fingers crossed, fingers crossed it all goes ahead because there's going to be some exciting things to share on the channel and um, some exciting things to come. Um, also want to know a bit more about the facelift, Golf R and all these kind of things. So yeah, super exciting. Thank you so much for watching and uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on lots of things and I'll see you again next time. Cheers guys.